Hello Stamper! Welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, Independent Administrator with Stamping Up. And today it's Joseph Coat. I cannot stop laughing. I This is my ninth video today and I just need to stop. This is what I lined up with and it's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like this. Well, I had the wrong embossing powder. So let's hope this is going to work. So I started with a piece of glossy cardstock that measure four by five and a quarter. This, the pink color, it is um, Melon Mambo. The yellow, it's Crush Curry. And the green, it's Pierre Pizzazz. I tried to use Lemon Lime Twist and it was, it's bright, but it's not um, dark enough for this technique here. So what you're going to do is just smear the color here and there. It's no right and wrong on smearing the color. It's right and wrong if you use the wrong embossing powder. And I'm, I was trying to get, you know, kind of the pinkish in my flower. Maybe I'm there, maybe I'm not. Maybe I have to go a little bit lower. So it's no way that you're going to know exactly where it is. So you just go with the flow and that's what it's called Joseph Coat. So now I'm done smearing all this here. Let's move that a bit there. Here we go. We're going to remove this. And now we have to emboss our image with clear embossing powder. Not white, but clear. First, I'm going to take my embossing buddy and rub this on it just to make sure that I don't absorb the ink where it shouldn't go. Now, let's me um, Versamark. I'm looking for my container right here. It is. Here we go. I get my Versamark, stamp that, and if my paper is too big too, I can trim it. Now we're going to put clear embossing powder. Sometimes you just have to laugh when you put a big deal like I'm doing today, it's like, okay. And always tap the back so then you won't have any chunk of the embossing powder. Now we're going to heat set that with the heat tool. And um, just make sure that when you emboss it that you really see that rubber looking, that clear look. You barely can see it on the clear, but you're going to see what I'm saying. If you see that, it's still kind of um salty on top it's not the melting there we go it's going because it's kind of a whitish powder at the top but as it smells it's clear and i see i get dots in there i need a new uh, clear embossing powder i get all kind of debris in it oh right here Okay, that is done. Let me remove this so it's not in my way. Now, I did two colors. The darker, the better it is on this. Uh, so, I started with fresh fig because I thought that would do the trick. It was not quite dark enough. I'm still laughing at myself because I kept on going the video and I didn't notice till I was almost done. I was like, wait a minute, something don't add up here. Now what I did, you can take like a paper towel, a rag, I got my inky rag here. Just rub this pretty good here. And then I'm going to come back with another coat on this just to, here it was way lighter. Okay, I'm just going to spread this here. And don't worry about your top, even if it looks kind of, you don't, most of the color is there. We're going to fix that. Now, really, what I would do is let that dry a little bit. And then come with your early espresso. And now we're going to put a very heavy 
coat of the early espresso. Did I say heavy? You don't have to have it that heavy. It's just I think that the heavier the better it is. I mean it give the your light color very uh Okay, now you're going to have maybe some inky finger like I, I having, but that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is come right there where I get my line right away because I don't want to have those line or my fingertip here. Here we go. Just smear that. Okay, and again, I would, well, I get a bit of smear here. Here we go. Just brush that off pretty good. Just let it dry a bit. I I don't want to eat uh, use the heat tool, but just let it like air dry a bit. And you're gonna see when the ink it's not it's more smooth. Then you can come back with um, your um, paper towel or rag. I off on it, and you voila. Now it get all the dark ink off. See the difference between this? And if you see it's not removing good, off on it again. You don't want to use nothing really wet because it's going to remove the ink below whatever. It's going to smear the ink below. Here we go. So you see... Any color that you're going to use, it doesn't uh, matter how often you're going to do this, you're never going to get the same tone. Here we go, how it is. So, hope you learned uh, something new or an old technique. It's called Joseph Coat. Uh, but I used to do it with the brayer. Now, just drag your ink, or you can take a sponge too. It's just I feel it go faster with dragging your ink. All the supplies list is going to be listed uh, on my blog. Just above you get the I. Click on that. It's going to bring you right to the post. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.